Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, a lot of people don't actually know this, but I've worked in quite a lot of different professions. I've been a research scientist, I've been a teacher, I've also worked for a large financial data company in the city of London as well. Now, all of these jobs did tend to have certain things that I just absolutely dreaded doing. And I came to just accept it as part of the job. So, some examples of this include taking work home on the weekend on very short notice. So, all you teach people out there will know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, having worked as a software developer for nearly a year now, there are certain aspects of the profession that have made it by far the best career choice I've made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list five of these benefits for you just to help you gain a bit more understanding about some of the benefits of the profession. Number one is obviously remote working. Now, as a software developer, I'm not really needed in an office as such. I'm not client facing, um, but during the whole COVID situation, a lot of people have experienced the benefits of remote working. So obviously some of those benefits include tr saving money on travel. I was spending 170 pounds a month just on my travel card and time. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but they accept, you know, an hour coming each way to be normal. If you're not traveling or commuting on a train, that's 40 additional hours that you have to do whatever else you want. You could spend that 40 hours at the gym, 40 hours learning a new skill, 40 hours just binging on Netflix, whatever it is, but you have that time back. And that for me is really, really valuable. Number two is never having to have to deal with angry clients. Now that's an aspect of my previous roles that I absolutely dreaded, but it's something that I don't really have to deal with anymore because I'm not client facing, I'm not really speaking to any external people, I'm just really interacting with my own sort of small team every day and it's something very very common especially in the teaching profession when you're dealing with angry parents or the very unhelpful kind of parents or just in any sort of client facing um, business you know you can't really control the mood of the person that you're interacting with and it can really kind of bring you down and sort of ruin your day if you have to deal with you know those types of people number three is actually work attire now i'm not actually opposed to wearing a suit but the main issue is um, is the amount of money spent on dry cleaning. So my dry cleaning came out to about 20 pounds every two weeks, 40 pounds every month. If you add that up, that's actually nearly 500 pounds a year and that's after tax as well. So I'm actually more in favor of sort of dressing smart casually, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter what I wear if I'm working remotely. I can wear Dragon Ball Z t-shirts every day and no one's really gonna care. So that's again is another benefit. Number four, skills are directly transferable so what i mean by that is i know if i learn javascript in a company today i know that i can go to another industry as long as it's got some software development aspect to it i can then directly apply what i've learned in javascript to that new um, company environment code is always going to be code you can always transfer what you've learned directly and just continue building on it and it doesn't just have to be in a company what you learn within that environment you can apply to your own projects and you can even freelance with what you've learned now that's quite different opposed to a company where what you learn is very very proprietary and that's something that i really didn't like doing so a lot of companies where especially if you're working with a specific product what you learn about that product can only be applied within that company and so you'll spend you know years learning everything about a product learning that product inside and out and then all of a sudden you know those years that you spent, all those skills that you develop are only really applicable within that company. Maybe you learn some soft skills, but you know, really what you've learned is only of value within that company. You can't really take too much out elsewhere. You're essentially gonna be starting up from scratch again, which again is not really what I look for in a long-term profession. And number five is my favorite, and that's constant learning. Now. Tech is constantly growing. There's always new things being released, new frameworks, new technologies, and there's never really a shortage of things to learn and explore. So you can really go into tech either in depth in one area or kind of become more agnostic and explore loads of different areas. There's no shortage for learning. Now, that opposed to some roles that I've done where I end up learning what I need to learn and I essentially go into autopilot mode every day. And I just feel like I'm not really using my brain as much anymore. And that for me, that feeling of lacking growth is something that I don't really like and I don't really like as being part of a profession. I want to constantly continue learning. 
and developing so that I can then apply what I've learned um, in my own projects or elsewhere as well. And that's something that I really value. So there you go. Those are five benefits that I found working within the software development industry. Now, if any of those reasons resonate with you, then do explore um, learning to code, software development um, as a career choice. It's now actually a lot easier to get into it than ever. You don't need a computer science degree. It can take you as little as six months to go from no code to your first junior developer role. Put a video on that that you can watch as well. And if you like what you saw, then please do like and subscribe. If you feel like there's someone out there who's going through that, I really, really hate my job phase. I've been there as well, done that then do share this video with them, um, just help them out. And as always, I will see you in the next video.